Valentina and this is another video for my channel Valentina's Viewpoint. Um, today I will once again be talking about the brand Lug. Um, now always please bear in mind that I am by no means a professional. I actually have notes this time so hopefully there will not be a lot of ums and ohs. Um, so please forgive me though for any mistakes. Hopefully my daughter will once again take pity on me and end up editing but I'm not 100% sure about that. So in my last video, I showed my small lug haul as well as went into review slash kind of what's in my bag for the Samba XL. Unfortunately, I did forget to mention that this pattern of the Samba is called Butterfly Gray. And it really is to date the most favorite pattern that I've seen lug put out, my favorite pattern. I'm going to actually briefly touch base on my latest lug haul today and also go through like a walkthrough of the zip liner, but I'll get to that in a minute. Once again, Lug likes to give their customers little thank you gifts for their orders. So with my latest order, I received another beautiful notepad as well as package of pencils. So I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I also had mentioned that I was going to be purchasing one of the individual thicker straps that would match my Samba XL. So the strap is in butterfly gray as well. So this is the actual new strap, as you can see in comparison to the shoulder strap that the Samba came with as well as the crossbody. It is about a half an inch wider, which helps distribute the weight more evenly and make it a more comfortable bag to wear, especially when you have a heavy bag like I generally do. I also did receive this little heart pouch, which I was waiting on, which matches the pattern much better of the butterfly gray. This is what the pattern looks like Excuse me, on the inside. So it's actually quite pretty. Again, this was received because I did the order in the time of the promotion that they were having. But unfortunately that promotion is no longer going on. I'm absolutely planning on buying some more in the future. Now onto the zip liner. So this is the zip liner. It is also in butterfly gray. It's actually quite a beautiful bag. It does have the four feet with no wipeable bottom. But again, I think I mentioned too that I actually really like that because sometimes when Lug has their wipeable bottoms, they have a cloudy plastic over it and that will actually impair the visibility of the pattern. I'm really happy they have these feet for protection. Everything you see in this video actually can fit in that Samba XL with the exception of a folder. This is surprisingly comfortable both in its shoulder bag form and its backpack form. I was a little leery because this also has a, the thinner strap um, and this is not detachable so you can't change out the strap but it really is quite comfortable. I had it filled to the gills and it was comfortable on my shoulder, on my back, whichever way I decided to wear it. Um, I really loved it. We're going to take a look at the front of the bag. Um, these first two lower pockets are kind of Lug's signature pocket. They have them on their puddle jumpers, the Via, uh, just to name a couple. Uh, you can go on their website, luglife.com, in order to see all the different bags that have these pockets. They've got a little pocket on pocket action going. The first little pocket on the outside, it's just a thin little pocket, no individual gusset, though it does have a little bit of give, nice magnetic closure. This would be a great spot for like, if you need uh, cards for some reason. Um, but for me, I just keep mints in here and it fits really nicely. And then this one I keep free in case I do need to put anything in there. The pockets that these two are attached to, they're actually quite big, two fingers or so um, wide. It actually fits quite a bit in this, you know, on this particular side, I have, you know, a charging block, whiteout tape, some mint, uh, well, not mints, they're actually Tums in here, but I use a little mint container pen refill and this super duper cute little purse holder. And so that's what's on that side. And then on the other, this side has the little nameplate for the lug, uh, which I really, really like. In here, I just have some quarters and just some chapsticks, eye drops, um, Tylenol, that sort of thing. So those are pretty much what I keep in there. They're easy access. Above these two pockets that you have here is a nice zip pocket, good zipper, smooth. Um, inside there's really no organizational features, it's just a pocket. It doesn't run the length of the bag, it does go to the bottom. What I like to keep in here is this really, really funny sunglass case that I got at Hobby Lobby. I keep that in here because it does share space with, excuse me, the next pocket, which is one of my favorite lug signature pockets, their dedicated cell phone pocket. So it has a magnetic 
closure with a little tab where you could pull it out. The phone I have in here is an old Samsung. I can't really show you my iPhone XR because I'm using that to film, but they are the same size. I measured them so it fits easily inside. It is a vertical phone pocket or as Lug likes to say, a uh, north-south um, configuration and it's it's fairly deep I do recommend keeping the front with like slim items because you don't want to bulk it up too much or you might have trouble sliding your phone into there smoothly I also want to mention that my iPhone has a pop socket on it that doesn't really make a difference when it slides into the phone pocket lastly there's this really nice little zippered part on the side and it is insulated which is really really cool this is my first lug bag that has this feature one thing i do want to say is when you have something in here it will go into your inside space but if you don't have anything into it or in it it actually tucks really nice and flat against either side whichever side you prefer to tuck it on and then you can fit everything in here um, I have a couple little examples as to what fits in it these are just two little stackable containers those can pop right in and easily, well, easily if you're not trying to do it one-handed uh, for me, uh, easily zip up. I do have just a little bottle I picked up. I, I unfortunately don't have any of the lug chuggies or, you know, anything like that. But little bottle I picked up. This one for me was a little bit difficult to pop in at first, but then I just figured you had to have to tilt it a little bit. And then this also fits in very nicely. But again, if you can see, it does take up space. Um, and kind of eat into your real estate, if you will. Then we go to the back of the bag. Oops, excuse me, that's the front. We go to the back of the bag and you do have another nice zippered pocket. Again, all the zippers on this bag are really smooth. I realize there's like quite a bit of zippers on this bag and I'm like, huh, zipper, zip liner. I don't know if there's a correlation to the, the title and the amount of zippers, but it was just kind of funny to me. But okay, back here, no other real organizational features except your two pen slots. And I love pen slots in bags. I know it seems really silly, but it's just a really nice little small detail that Lug does in the majority of their bags and I really appreciate that and that's the thing I love about this company they they always kind of pay attention to those small little details which is awesome but anyway in here I just have charging cord um, my little manicure case lotion and of course my Lysol I also do recommend keeping relatively slim profile items in here as well because it does actually uh, share space with another Part, portion of the bag because again this doesn't have its own gusset either but even though these pockets that I'm mentioning that don't have their own gussets um, don't expand like those two little front pockets they actually do have a nice amount of gifts you can pack them like it's not like you're you know confined to just your your slim items this pocket does not go the full length of the bag however this pocket does go to the bottom of the bag if you can see my fingers wiggling so it's it's deep so now when we get into the inside of the bag, you have this privacy pocket. This pocket does not go the length of the bag. And I, I'm pretty sure I'm trying to, yeah, it does not go all the way down, but it's still a decent size. And in here, I just have some extra masks for emergencies. Usually I always carry a mask, but then there's that time when you're like, oh no, I don't have one and you need it. So anyway, always keep in there. Again, insulated pocket I can tuck along the back. And on the front of the inside, you have two very nice size deep that go to the bottom of the bag cargo pockets. And actually there's two of them and the two car, they're separated. The two cargo pockets combined do go the length of the bag, which is nice. So you have, they're very generous and they're much wider than my hands. So in there, I keep my a little pouch, nail file, and then I keep two, uh, reusable grocery totes. So that's that's actually quite nice. I do love that. They do have your key bungee. I have the spare set of my husband's keys on there already. Um, so yeah, that's the inside. Now, the reason that the inside is empty and you haven't seen anything else in here yet is because I did want to show you something. So I had to bring a folder with me. The nice thing is you can actually fit this size folder in the bag. It does take a little finagling. I'm not going to tell you it fits super, super easy, but if the bag is on the inside is empty and you have nothing in your um, insulated pocket and you mine the key fob, cause that, you know, 
just don't get stuck on there. You can actually fit this whole folder in. And once this folder is in, you can fit, I can fit the rest of my items really easily. So the rest of the items being my day planner, my Splits XL wallet, and I can fit my little Vera Bradley bullet journal in here. And you can zip it up really easily. Then very quickly it converts to your backpack. Looks super cute. Stand up a little bit when it's on. Of course, I can still affix my hand sanitizer to one of the loops and my little black pouch to the other side. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.